hard work which I have done in the University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And uh, this work is basically about the most abundant organic waste material that is the cellulose. And uh, we, will, we study about how we can use, reuse uh, this because this is the most abundant organic waste material present in the nature. And uh, to uh, recycle it, there are a lot of uh, uh, work is being done, and we can use it uh, for the synthesis of biofuels. And uh, in industry, there is a lot of uses. So, green chemistry is the design of chemical products and processes that reduce or eliminate the use and generation of hazardous substances. It works basically on 12 principles, and we are working on a safer solvents. Safer solvents, uh, which are also known as a green solvent of the future, and they are commonly known as ionic liquids. Uh, when we look at the history and progress, it has been seen that the first ionic liquid, named as ethyl ethyl ammonium nitrate, uh, was synthesized in 1914 by Paul Walden and having a melting point 12 degrees Celsius. This is the most important point regarding ionic liquids. And when we look at the progress graph, we see that the number of publications in 2003 were uh, almost 600 publications and this number exceed to 3000 publications a year in 2013. So, the remarkable interest of the scientists in the field of uh, ionic liquid has been seen. Uh, what are ionic liquids basically? They are the semi-organic molten salts having melting point less than 100 degrees Celsius with the appreciable liquid rates. We can also call them, there, is, there are also available room temperature ionic liquids having melting point less than 20 degrees Celsius. So we have them in the liquid form at a room temperature and liquids. So here is a very important point about the nature of the ionic liquids. In, uh, as we see in the, in, the, in the composition of ionic liquids, cations and anions being used. So uh, apparently they should be a salt in nature and should be uh, uh, available in the form of in the, in the solid state, but they are in the liquid state. So what is the reason behind that we are having them in a liquid state as uh, and not in a solid state? Uh, the reason is the packing pattern of the cations and anions ion liquids. Uh, when we see in a common salt like the sodium chloride, the cations and anions are efficiently packed uh, and form a crystal in this. But in case of ionic liquid, they are anions and cations are asymmetrically substituted with the different length groups to prevent the packing of the cation and anion. And due to this reason, they are available in the form of ionic liquids. When we look at the features, which are not polluting our environment, so uh, this this property is very important in all field of sciences. To use them as a solvent. Application of ionic liquids can be seen uh, in electrochemical devices and electrolytes, in separation and extraction chemistry, synthesis process of new compounds, and different processes of organic and catalytic chemistry. And as we are using them as a solvent with a binary with bind mixture with the DMSO, so uh, here I summarize the effect of a solvent uh, during the solubility process and uh, solvent effect is we choose the solvent uh, by uh, and considering their solvent polarity, their solvation influence and their electric constant.